ketogenic diet. Are you all in? If not, then don't do it. These researchers I'm about to show did a study and they did not go all in with the ketogenic diet and they did not get the results that they expected. And since I saw what they did, I had a feeling they weren't gonna get the results they wanted, but I wish that it would have happened the way they expected. But there is no shortcut to the ketogenic diet and I'm gonna prove it to you. The researchers took a group of individuals who have Alzheimer's. They have dementia, they're not doing very well, their cognition is declining, and they said, you know what? Since Alzheimer's is basically diabetes type three, the blood sugar is there, but the glucose can't get into their brain. And if you don't have sugar in your brain, you can't think very well. It's that simple. So the researchers said, ah, you know what? The brain also uses ketones. So if we give a, a ketogenic agent, basically MCT oil is what AC1202 is, I bet we'll see improvement clinically in these individuals because if the brain can use ketone bodies, since those who have dementia or Alzheimer's can't use glucose, I bet we'll see improvement. And you know what? They saw it in some, but not all. What did they do? Methods is really, really important. When you're looking at research papers, you have to understand what they did because a lot of research that looks at the ketogenic diet or high fat diet is wrong. It's done wrong. And if you look at a high fat diet and you're equating that to ketogenic diet, high fat diet studies are usually also normal diet studies and high sugar studies. So a high fat diet is not ketogenic diet, which is what they're basically doing here because they took 150 individuals with Alzheimer's diagnosed, they stayed on a normal diet. They gave them MCT oil. They assessed them clinically to see how they would score on cognitive assessments. And they also evaluated their APOE4 variant because APOE4.4 is a very high risk gene for predisposing individuals for Alzheimer's. It doesn't guarantee that you're gonna get it, but it definitely increases your risk by about threefold, which is very significant. So let's take a look at what happened. As they expected, the MCT oil did rapidly elevate the, the blood ketone levels. Excellent, that's, that's good, right? Because Alzheimer's individuals cannot use blood glucose very well, doesn't get into the brain. So they shot up the blood ketones and that worked well, but it worked in the individuals who did not have the APOE4 variant and it shows it here. So key points, the group was split up into two, the placebo and those getting MCT oil. Placebo, there was no benefit. These individuals did not get the MCT oil. These individuals did get the MCT oil and they showed clinical benefit as shown here. So this is the baseline assessment that they took prior to the study. They're, they improved clinically all throughout the trial. They stopped the MCT oil and they lost the benefit, okay? Big point. But these are the individuals who do not have the APOE4 variant. What about those who do have the APOE4 variant? I mean, come on, that's not, you can't forget about them. And there was no clinical improvement at all even though the ketone bodies increased. Wait a minute, so the ketogenic diet didn't work for these people? No, the researchers did not follow the ketogenic diet. They followed a normal diet and they had the subjects suck down ketogenic juice and CT oil. Big difference, big difference. So if you are thinking about utilizing the ketogenic diet, you have to do it all the way. You can't just put butter in your coffee and have fat for breakfast and then go out and have a donut and scrambled eggs and spaghetti at night. You will not see the benefit. In fact, you actually might get worse. And why is the ketogenic diet so amazing? Because it reduces inflammation. It reduces cravings. It stabilizes your moods. 
It stabilizes your energy to keep it consistent throughout the day. You know those binges that you have? Ketogenic diet? Gone. Your mood imbalances, your mood swings, much more clear. But you have to be committed and you have to be the right type of individual also to see if you can follow the ketogenic diet because some people can't. Are you the type of person that can follow the ketogenic diet? I made an assessment for you to fill out. If you go to drbenlynch.com forward slash keto, you simply go there and you take this assessment and it will show you if you can take, follow the ketogenic diet or not. Hope that serves you well. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed that. To find out if the ketogenic diet is right for you, you can take the assessment at drbenlynch.com forward slash keto or text the word keto diet to the number 44222. For more information on the ketogenic diet, you can get our resource bundle at seekinghealth.org. Thank you.